That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air, and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high, and every expectation that this game will live up to it. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Aston Villa facing RB Leipzig. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Luca Digne plays with Matty Cash in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays alongside Douglas Luis in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And here's how Leipzig will line up. Well, they're playing with the front two, but they have different roles. The main striker needs to make as many forward runs as possible, while the second striker will look to find space behind him. If they play well, they're a real handful. That's useful play. And played in. And he clears the danger. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, in many ways, he's a throwback to the 80s in the way he plays. He's so strong in holding up the play. He can outmuscle opponents. Today, the defenders will certainly know they've been in a battle. Making sure nothing came of it. Well, lovely work to get past his man. To put them ahead. Oh, yes! 1-0 it is! And it doesn't come as a huge surprise! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And the ball is moving again. So having conceded, let's find out if Leipzig can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Ikoma Luis Openda. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Diaby. He has time to play us over. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. He succeeds in clearing it. Raum. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Rogers. How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. And he took care of it defensively. Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. Opportunity it is. Oh, did so well to deny him. It has to be, surely. In it goes at the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Takes the shot. Oh, fine stop. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? I'll tell you what, that is really top-class defending. Douglas Luiz. Well, he knows what he's doing defensively. Being pressed hard.
this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point Stuart well Derek he plugged away in that first half making run after run without too much success but eventually he got his reward and what an important goal it was and a good looking ball clear deflection and a corner now Well, too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Well, as those stats tell us, Leipzig have struggled to create chances here, and that's a big worry. Their attacking play just hasn't been good enough. Breaking at pace. And he might be through here. Oh, magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. It really is. But wasteful from Leipzig. Diaby he's got to score and a fine stop time for a change then trying to pick out a teammate and clearing his lines and Villa with the ball again must take the lead here oh but he's missed it how on earth well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Fifteen minutes left for play. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Now, can they take advantage? Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. We're really closing him down. Cesco. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. And stopping the danger. Making progress. But quick thinking defensively. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two.